Hey guys, hope you're so well. Oh my gosh, ignore the hair. I've had to put it like this because I washed it this morning and it's just, we're just having one of those days. So, I am going to go straight into another moving vlog. I am at my family home in Yorkshire and this vlog is me organising my walk-in wardrobe room here. I'm organising it because I've got loads of stuff to give to charity, loads of stuff to put on Depop, stuff to take to the new house. So I thought I had to come home, get everything organised, everything sorted and vlog it. So I hope you're going to enjoy this and you're going to enjoy decluttering with me. I mean we all love a declutter, don't we? So... Let's declutter! So the task is to organise this and get rid of loads of it, give it to charity, pop it on Depop and just make it look tidier. So let's go! Broken Future All the plans you made in your heart Putting it into piles, I know it looks messy, but this is organised mess, putting it into piles. So this is going to be my sale pile, and now I'm going to organise these because I need to have all of the flat sides facing the flat sides so they sit better. So, oh, so I'm just popping all my things for Depop inside here. Ikea bags always come in handy. Everyone gets hurt. And then all my stuff for charity is going to go in a separate bag. I've got loads of it here. Okay, I think it's time once and for all to sort the shoes out. Let's go the end of an era these are my work shoes at all saints i don't know if i can get rid of them but i never wear them anymore that's how we learn to make love work i can't do it they're gonna have to stay a bit longer not that i've worn them for years but i literally can't do it let me hold this one thing okay these are gorgeous but they just hurt my feet far too much okay so I have just sorted my jackets out. We now have a clear section. And now I'm going to issue this bag. It's a bag of bags because this is what I do. I store bags within the bags. It's just one big bag. <laughs> my gosh, I used to be so obsessed with this. It's so cute. I might actually oh, put some of these. I was going to say on the shelf with the shoes. Will it reach? Yay! It does! <laughs> that she looks really cute. Baby, don't cry. I thought I'd put this cute little round initial bag. Oh, that did not go to plan. I'm way too small for this. I thought I'd pop it here. Oh yeah, and then took this in. Okay, I need some ladders. Sunglasses, so the dream is to have like a whole section or area to actually put all of my sunglasses in. So I'm gonna go through some boxes and get this organized for a later date. This is my first ever Marc Jacobs watch I got how emotional and I remember getting it for Christmas and it was the best present ever. Okay, so this side has been completely tackled. This is now all empty. And then a few special things that I'm keeping there. And then my coat section, all empty and a few special things I'm keeping there and then my bags within bags bags within bags bags within bags we've got like YSL one here and then Dior Givenchy here and then all my sunglasses are neatly in here into like an organized an actual sunglasses section and then my shoes are actually okay for now with my little bag up there just chilling now on to sorting this section out. Ray, 
so the bottom is done. That is looking so much neater. And so much has gone. The bottom of that is done. And we have charity and sale. And now the top bit. Boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, we're getting that. really hard section to make look nice because this is kind of like my long stuff so I took it under and also it's stuff it doesn't have the little spaghetti shuts to hang with so it's kind of always going to look a bit messy but I think it looks a bit better the way I've done it I've kind of done my whites and then my colours and I think that looks better so now to tackle this which is kind of where all of my comfy stuff is and I love having it in this big basket but let's go through it and make this a lot neater Isn't so bad at all. White socks in there, comfy things in there. This section is all done. Yippee! And to sort this once and for all, this is always a mammoth test because there's always so much stuff that just overflows. My idea of putting these kind of things in didn't really work because everything just overspills. So I'm gonna sort this into sections. Sections like leggings, pajamas, tops, skirts, and I'm gonna do it that way. Easiest way to do it. Okay, so that looks so much better. I know these things are like falling out of there, but they are neatly. But this looks a lot better now. So, so, so much neater. I think I just need to get some bigger baskets so that stuff doesn't overflow, but I am much happier with that. So, I just so next morning, because this has gone into the next morning, this is looking nice and organised. I'm not a fan of the plastic ones. I think they would look better with wooden ones, but I'm not bothered right now. This one is far too small, so I'm, and I would obviously label it better and nicer. This is just pure labelling so that me and my mum can organise it. Um, I need to get some bigger ones so that stuff isn't falling out, but everything is nice and organised. So now I'm going on to my knicker drawer because that needs sorting. So the awkward thing is, none of my bras fit me anymore. Um, there's a charity that takes bras and I just need to get like full new bras because I got bra measured before COVID and none of them are my size anymore, which cracks me up. My boobs actually feel smaller, but apparently they're bigger, so don't really get that. Woohoo! We have done a very good job indeed. To see how neat and tidy this is. So happy. Obviously, I said before these ones are really hard to get neat because they're long, but I'm loving having the basket there with my socks and stuff on. And then comfy things in here. And then some really nice special dresses here. And more special dresses here. Comfy things up here. Designer bags and stuff. Are all tucked in here, or all in here. It's looking so much better now. Your neat now. Okay, so the next thing to tackle in this clear out series is the underneath of my bed because I have a lot of stuff under there. Not gonna lie, I'm very scared of spiders because we live kind of like with a forest for our garden. And oh my gosh, I'm so scared of the spiders. So let's see if I can pull everything out without any spiders eating me.
These are the loveliest notebooks. I'm definitely going to keep these for my office once it's renovated and organised. like hair sprays and stuff in here and heat protection mist and then in this one I, oh, I mean it's meant to be shampoos and lotions but there's a styling spray in there so that didn't work out did it? Dry shampoos, basically I'm trying to get these a bit more organised, I'd love to be able to fit it all in one actually but that's not going to happen. All in one baby, it's probably better if it was more organised, but honestly, I just want less stuff under my bed, to be honest. I would say that that side is looking a lot better already, much neater, managed to get rid of two whole boxes. Now to the next side. basically got travel minis in here that I can grab and go for trips, toothpaste and chargers and razors in there, overflow of hair masks and hair products in there and then more hair products in here and then this is a big one that I'm going to come out and go through and organise and obviously I give a lot of this stuff to charity so I'm just going to go through this and get this sorted. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just organising this into fake tans and then fake tan lotions and body lotions and doing it that way. I know it looks like there's a lot but obviously I review a lot and I'm also organising a big bag for charity at the same time. And then in here I'm just popping some of my favourite skin brands. A little overspill of products which is perfect. another empty basket oh, because we're going to renovate my bedroom and get a different bed and get a day bed we're thinking of even putting these minis with some other travel minis i also spent some time organizing my bathroom but this is getting completely ripped out and i'm getting a new bathroom so i haven't told you through this yet as i said the beauty cupboards i'm gonna save for another video because that's a whole video in itself and same with the lipstick cupboard it actually looks quite neat but i feel like again this is a whole video then from the future oh it's gone quite dark in here so everything is organized look how cute my new jumper is feeling so funky fresh and so fantastic about how clean and how tidy everything is i've got rid of literally i would say 50 percent of my wardrobe and now i'm like oh my god i should start again and go back into the cupboards the only thing that's annoying me slightly is the long cupboards because i do feel like i have an overflow of gym kit i gave my friend the biggest bin bag of stuff and she's so happy i mean gave some stuff to some charities so i'm feeling super happy and super cleansed so next time i come home here i will organize some more stuff again but it's feeling so much better and fresher for the new season ahead and i need to do my whole makeup collection i know i did the underbed storage because where getting a new day bed and getting rid of my double bed so I was like okay I need to sort my under bed out but next I need to do my actual lipstick collection my actual makeup collection and show you my bathroom but I'm gonna hang on until that obviously gets ripped out but thank you so much for watching guys things are feeling so clean and tidy come follow me at mshell home and at mshell x and now some of this stuff is coming with me to the new place speak to you soon